Hello everyone, this is Chris with MultiGP. I'm going to show you how to go into Clean Flight and configure your machine so that way you can use your remote, your transmitter, in order to, to adjust your PID settings. So let's get started. I'll connect. Good idea to remove your propellers before you power your machine up. Telemetry recovered. My Tyrannus is already on and it's connected. Go to the receiver tab, make sure everything moves. Now I have two switches I'm not currently using that I will be setting up today to work. So one of them is the B switch, which is set for AUX4. I want the B switch to be the, the switch for P or I or D. And then the C switch, which is AUX3. So the C switch is actually going to be increasing or decreasing the setting. Now we'll go to the Adjustments tab. We're going to enable the first piece. It was AUX4, which we're looking for. AUX4 is the B switch. The switch is, is currently up. So when it's in the up position, I want it to change the pitch and roll P adjustment. And then I want it to use AUX3 because that was the other switch to either increase or decrease the setting. Go to the next tab. This one is going to be I, so when it's in the center position, it will change the I. Again, it's going to reference the AUX3 for whether to go up or down. Finally, let's get for the D setting as well. Save that. If I've done this correctly, now I should be able to go in and use these settings to actually change the PID uh, settings for the, for the quad. All right, now that the configuration is done and the switches are set up in order to change my PID settings, let's make sure it works. So first, I have AUX4. All the way up is P, I, D. So let's go ahead and put it in the P position. Now this is a little bit uh, difficult, or was for me to get used to, Whenever I put the switch up, the setting is actually lower, so it's lowering the P setting. Whenever I push it down, it would be raising the P setting. So if you watch, I'm going to flip the um, AUX3 switch, which is the C switch, up. So that process there should have lowered the P settings from before which it did. Now we're at 4.0 and 4.9, which we were at 4.8 and 5.4, or something like that, um, just a minute ago. Go back here so we can see again. Lower them now. So put the switch down. This should be raising the P setting. So now we're to 4.4 and 5.3. So as you can see, um, by just raising or lowering that switch, I'm changing the P setting. Let's go back here to the receiver. I'm going to go to the center position now, which is the I setting, and let's, uh, let's look first. I is 0 0.021 and 0 0.029. Okay, so now we've lowered it to 0 0.015 and 0 0.023. See if we can raise it. We're back to where we started from. So, uh, the same works for the D setting. This really allows you to go in and fine tune the settings for your machine in the air. Get it really, really close. At that point, maybe you'll go to a black box or um, tune with a little bit smaller increments 
but especially a, a, a newly built system running stock settings, this is a good way to get it really dialed in very quickly. I went from spending hours to minutes to get a machine flying uh, a way where I was really happy. So I really enjoy this. Uh, hopefully this helps you.